it's about time to start doing something. It's too slow and a lot of crime, a lot of robbery. New Yorkers living in neighborhoods with the highest crime rates are ready for a change. Violent crime in the nation's largest city is up 47 percent over the last 12 months, including an uptick in attacks on subways, hate crimes, murders, and assaults. I have a family that I'm concerned about, and I feel that they should, you know, the city should do something. They should, they have to do something. NYPD Commissioner Kashant Sewell says her team of trained officers are ready to take guns off the streets. The highly anticipated neighborhood safety teams begins today. It's a similar mission to its predecessor, the Anti-Crime Unit. That initiative created a lot of controversy as police officers in plainclothes were often criticized for being too aggressive. We actually had to take a look at the mistakes of the past and what we needed to change. The officers are being trained in the Constitution, in community interaction, car stops, use of force. Sewell says the revamp units will consist of 25 five-member teams of uniform, clearly marked officers, giving the community a visible police presence. They're not in plain clothes. The uniform clearly states on the back, NYPD police. They are there for the safety of the community and to get the violent offenders off the streets. People will feel safer. The communities will get more involved on in doing positive things, especially with the kids and schools, because I think it starts with the youth. The first wave of units will roll out today. More units will be added as more police officers are trained for this team initiative.